Uh, all right. Taking this music like a chill fantasy Star Trek. Uh, <laughs> this one always makes me think of like, I don't know, like Jazzercise or something like that. Not Jazzercise. You know what I mean? Like those shows that were, would be on in like the 90s at like six in the morning that were like people dancing and exercising and stuff. The 80s work of video. There we go. Thank you. That's probably the best way to put it. <laughs> best way to describe it. Yeah. Uh, this music like this being a thing. Uh can be a thing, and it is a thing, right now. Except we're playing Loot River, so back to the depressing music. Goodbye. I'm like, and it's over. No, I, I know what you mean, though. Oh, wow, Loot River feels really depressing after that. Okay. Here, we'll jump it back a second. Fuck it. There. Okay. You know what, Loot River, you can hang tight, because you're actually really sad and depressing so all right let's get into this um we're gonna get clear that's our plan yeah probably a little bit of blue river sound coming in all right so let's get a clear let's do it we're gonna do a clear um all right so well, this is not this is just this actually i might be able to turn off the music in this settings uh, audio. There we go. There. Getting a little bit too much dissonance. Um, oh, soap. Got some potions. We're gonna go five, so we can hopefully get ten potions. Carla. What is Carla doing here? That's interesting. How can I help you? Alright. So, our goal is we have to fight five bosses in this run. I think I know how to do this. What do we got for weapons? We got double axes. Restart run. Wow, wow. Oh my goodness, we get the fucking experience sword. Okay, this run's gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna be grinding out some experience too. So, um. Okay, because we need just a little bit. Uh, we need a fair amount. Okay, so this run is actually going to be a little bit slower. <laughs> okay, because this sword is kind of a rare thing. It can happen sometimes. It can happen sometimes, but not always. But when it does, you want to try and abuse the sword as much as you can. Because it basically gives double experience. So I'm going to do maybe four potions. Yeah, we'll do four. Okay, let's do it. Uh, what's up, White? Okay. Okay. But, oh, shit, that was bad. I forgot how long it takes to charge this. Okay, so basically the... J fuck me. Oh my god, okay. That took too much. Alright, um, we got a... We got an item. We got a hat. A restorable elemental protection. Alright. Mm, just getting sleepy, but I can't go to bed quite yet. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, what we got? What we got? What do you got, Ghidorah? Oh, we got a halo. That'll be perfect. Yeah. Uh. It's really cute, actually. <laughs> yeah. All right. So <sighs> this one's gonna be rough. I can already tell. So what we do? Okay. So here's the trick with the sword. Charge it up. Pull your block in. Slash. There we go. So this, by doing things like this way, it puts us in advantage where we don't have to take as much risks. It's generally pretty good. It's a smart way to do things. Okay. 
these guys we might just take a swing at since we kind of want to get a clear of this run anyways. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, rude. Ugh, fine. This is not going well. First one of the day and I'm trying to do something that's like a little bit trickier than usual. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll take it. These are actually the guys you get the most from, just because they're, they die in like one hit. Also, I just gotta say, this experience sword, like the trait on this thing, is actually not just is this like a strong like trait, like a super OP trait. The sword itself has um like 0.8 strength scaling, which is absurdly high in this game. Like, you get like big meaty swords, like, what's the strength scaling on this? Six. Like, this sword is just broken. It's just, it's just super broken. Gotta, gotta head out. All right, you have a good night, okay, Anna? Work calls. Aw, gotcha. Uh, take it easy when you can. Thanks for swinging by, it's good seeing you. Uh -huh. Go. This is like slow, but like the payout is so worth it. <laughs> like you can do a whole run in this game. Like I've made more so like I've collected more souls just in this little like burst here than what I've done in like this is already like worth a whole one practically. Like you normally get like 30 or whatever from the first boss, but it's like this is still pretty substantial. Sometimes, sometimes games be like that though. It's just like, it's not like an amazing game, but it's like, it's interesting enough. It has like an interesting idea, so. But, eh, I don't mind trying to, you know, finish my plate with it. There really isn't much left in the game. But I find it very interesting how like, crappy most weapons in this game are, but, like, how they made this one weapon really, really good. run oh that's a good pull nice look at how much health we have now if we live that's gonna be amazing get over here fight me fight me okay uh, i hope we can beat the boss You only keep half your souls when you die, so... I guess I should say knowledge. It's called knowledge and it's not souls. It's souls, but you know. Oops. Hey White, how you doing? 
Welcome back. Oh, 15 damage, rude. Taking care of the mess. You go get some rest, okay? strength that'll make the boss much easier make everything much easier okay boss time i don't have any healing items though so there's a good chance i might die here especially since it's the first run of the day actually just surviving the first boss because <laughs> if you can do that then you're already in good place okay so we don't take that side door we actually go up up here this is a very specific route you have to take through this game so that gives us our first key also we need five keys Did I switch this to the Loot River tag? I don't think I did. There we go. Okay, so... We got lots of souls. We're gonna get lots of potions back, so... We got eight. Uh, we're gonna invest four of them so we'll get another eight back I'm gonna go up here we're gonna heal up I'm actually gonna turn off the extra music now that we're into it just because settings audio there we go okay Okay, so we got some souls here. We got, we're gonna be able to buy this. Uh, charge attack thrusts you forward, piercing all enemies in the way, which is pretty good ability. It's not, it's not this thing where we get an experience off of charge hits, but it's still pretty good. Defender of the Cosmos. Fully charged attacks release a demon that chases enemies and says surfaces on fire. Cost mana. <laughs> okay, that sounds pretty strong. We actually have enough for it too. Um, we also have. Uh, a cool axe, fully charged, knocks enemies back. Um, sounds pretty basic, but why not? I have a few weapons left on lock, so... Uh, let's see what the next thing is. Crown of the Dethroned. Uh, fully charged attacks, knock back all enemies nearby and roots them. That's pretty good. Not quite ready to go to bed? Okay, that's fair. Okay, so we only have two uh, weapons left on lock. 130. It's also quite expensive. Um... Okay, well, that's all we have left to put points into. So hopefully, hopefully, okay. Let's see, this is level one. And this is also level one. Both have poison on them, that's interesting. Okay. So we're doing okay right now. Our modifiers are good. Um. So now we're on to the next floor. The next floor, the, fir the first city. So here's the funny thing about this area. Um, the funny thing about this area, which is that um, I complain about this area being really long, but that's also partly because of the route I'm in. Um, once you realize like how short the game is after this route, it's like, oh, it's just like a roguelite if it was composed of three stages. It's like, there's not a lot beyond this. 
It's just a matter of like having the endurance to get through this area, which now that I'm starting to get a feel for like the way it generates things isn't that bad, but it's just like you gotta be conscious of it. Oh, uh, hitting it right after a dodge has 3% deal. Well, chance to deal critical damage. That sounds pretty good. Especially since I dodge, dodge slash a lot. I'm not gonna mess with these because they drain our health. Yeah. Mm. Right. There we go. I know this is definitely like slow doing it this way, but this is also clearing off our final weapons by doing it like this. shop already. Weird. Um, you know, our melee attacks return a small portion of uh, and nah, I don't care about that. Uh. For the sake of preserving my potions, these are the one guy, like, this is the one enemy that I'm gonna probably, like, oh, hey, chest. Uh, okay. Still level one, so I don't really care. So that's not something I'm worried about. Okay. There we go. And this area has a boss, but it's more of like a mini boss than actually a full boss. So how's the volume on stream? Good. This game has a strange and interesting style going on. Uh, it's like... It's like fine. I, I think like, like I said, I would like a game that's a little bit more like... Scaled up. Because I think that like, when... When characters are like this small, it loses a lot of personality. But this kind of it does kind of have this energy of like a 3ds game or something like that, which is kind of kind of interesting. Oh shit! Mm. Sometimes it just gets stuck on the field. way but every hit has a chance to spawn a poisonous cloud this is actually kind of amazing um if you can get it stacked with another charm that actually heals you in poison but um that's taking a real big gamble not having the one that heals you in poison okay Talking the right thing. Go. 80. But, like, the thing is, is even though this is kind of like technically a smaller game, sometimes you just want like a smaller game to dig into, chew on a little bit, you know? It's like, I still kind of, you know, I'm enjoying it in its own way. It's definitely a game I'm glad. Like, this is a great example of a game that, like, benefits heavily from Game Pass, because I would have probably been more discouraged paying, like, shelling out, like, full price on this game, but getting a free day one on Game Pass is like, yeah, this is an okay experience. But I probably wouldn't want to be paying, like, the, the $34 price tag that I think they're asking for it. Okay. 
I really shouldn't be putting stat points in anything just yet, but well, here we are. Um, this I do think the game, you know, like I said, everything about the game is like pretty a okay. Like the developers did make a, a pretty solid game overall. It's just, yeah. There's just like a little bit of something that's like lacking really bringing this game to like top form. Go, take care of that guy. I don't like messing with them, so. Because they can kind of reach me a little bit. Should be coming up on the next shop soon. Yeah. Oh, so they didn't say, hey, cast. Mm. watched half of um, the tennis anime that you recommended. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is this is a pacing I can get behind. I'll have to show it to you. Uh, I'll have to show it to you why you probably like it, too. Like, literally, like you sent it to me and you're like, it's, it's only like 30 minutes. And I'm like, I'm like for a whole season. Are you serious? I'm like, that's value. Like, I actually hear, like, literally right away, right away getting enjoyment out of it because, like, um, there's this. This immediately resonated with me. <laughs> this resonated immediately. I don't know why, just sunk, sinking into the ground slowly. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's such a, that's such a mood. I love unnecessarily intense sports animes. Oh, this is like not intense at all. It's like silly. But intense sports animes are also really good. <laughs> okay, that fits through there like that. Hmm. Unfortunately, nowadays I just don't watch that much. Um, <laughs> six to the ground. I just wish I. Like a little bit of its time because like I just put so much time into like my other projects and games that I'm playing and stuff like that. But like admittedly, like the biggest part of it is is I just find I just hit a point where like every anime I picked up, I seem to like watch three episodes and then I just drop it. And it's like, oh. I had like a bunch in a row that were like that, and it just like kind of just had a hard time getting into any anime. It might just be because like with my time off stream, I just kind of end up doing other things. Took a few hits there, but that's okay. This one seems to be stuck on this box, so I will use that to my advantage. Counter defense charm. While defending, deal a portion of damage. Uh, deal a portion of the damage blocked back. It's interesting. Um, we could do it instead of the intelligence ring. Like, I'm not using magic for anything. Do I even have magic? I don't think I do. I don't even know what these things are. Oh, it's my three charms. Um, I don't have any magic. Uh, I want to watch that anime about the giant crabs, though, that's currently, like, out there running. That one, I'm like, that looks relevant to my interests. That was not a well-prepared platform. <laughs> I dislike that. That guy shouldn't be able. Oh. Fuck. Fine. I'll let that one go. Oh, whoa. I wasn't expecting them both to connect. <laughs> Oh 
Oh my god, that reminds me. Yeah, there's a crab anime. Um, it's something Bisco. <laughs> that doesn't sound like an anime, but... Yeah. Uh, there's, there's a giant crab in it. Crab friend. Crab blah 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 blah. Yeah. Some series just don't have the same appeal. Yeah, definitely. Time for crab. I think it might be due to just getting older or the lack of uh, execution of ideas. Personally, knowing uh, the fine line of not enough deaths is uh, too many deaths for a main character. Not enough deaths. Uh, not enough deaths is too many deaths <laughs> of a main character. <laughs> well, you just mean like the character's dying all the time and then coming back? That's. That's fair, I know where you're coming from. That's what you mean. Uh, I don't remember the first part of that anime's name. Let me find it, just one sec. Giant Crab Anime. Uh... Uh... Sabuki Abisko, I was right. Uh... Sabi... Sabi... Sabikui Bisco? Uh... <laughs> yeah, no, I need to watch that, because... Giant Crab... That, admittedly, the next anime I'm probably gonna watch, though... Like, for sure, is probably Chainsaw Man. I actually read the manga for it, and like, yeah, yeah. I'll probably put some time into watching that, because I feel like it would animate. I feel like it would animate better than... Oh, that's a pretty good pull. Um, I don't quite have enough money. I will have enough money for it. Money. There we go. Okay, we got a level 5 um, axe. So this is a good thing. Yeah, it's a kind of axe, I guess. It's a circle. Circle. Nature's axe. But, no. Like, yeah. Uh, oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, life charm. Oh. Uh, instead of dying, regain 50% health, charm breaks. Oh, well, that's super reasonable. Oh, I'm off the lair. That is one thing this game does struggle with sometimes. It's like the layers. Uh, thank you for the cheese. Another anime I actually do want to watch, and I should sit down, and it was right. I like got reminded of it earlier today was um I need to watch Food Wars because I actually really really enjoyed Food Wars when I originally started watching it the only reason I stepped away from it is because it makes me desperately hungry when I watch it like to the point of like suffering by the end of it so that's why I stopped everything else about it was fine it was it was good it was just that one aspect Okay, we're coming, we're getting close to the mid-boss, I think, at this point. Okay, this is probably gonna be a locked platform. No? Okay, no. Yeah, oh, pardon me. Stupid bomb, guys. kill those guys with taking a little bit of damage. Can't go that way. Yeah. But no. A little bit of a twos. Like at this point, <laughs> I know a little bit of my anime watching is also affected by the fact that it's like, oh, I have a partner that like routinely wants to watch anime, so I kind of am like holding out a little bit for them that. Cause I like I like watching anime with people, so. Uh. Okay, we got a level up. Uh, we'll put into strength. Actually, what is, what is the stats on this? Uh, uh, it's not scaled to strength, which kind of sucks. That's okay. It's still level five, though, which is going to be enough. 
flamboyant robe increases your uh, mana gain rate or by high priest like damage reduction oh well it's better than the base thing oh now we're squiggly look at us we got a squiggly robe high mana squiggly robe which is especially good because um or i mean especially well, I guess it's still good, but it's like we don't have anything that <laughs> we don't have anything to spend mana on, so uh, we should watch more. Yeah, we still need to really sit down and watch Demon Slayer. It's just usually when we hang out, we're just like super chill. Oh, we did not find the mid boss here. Ooh, okay. We we had a little problem. We found the end, which is not right. Okay, we gotta go back and find the mid boss. I didn't know you could skip the mid boss in this stage. Well, that's that's a piece of information I didn't have. This would be great under normal circumstances because it means that I get to the end very quickly. But um, yeah. Uh, my anime watching has been on hold. The only good anime app in Australia has been killed by Sony. And number two, my streams. Ah, big mood. My streams also fuck up my anime watching. I'm glad to know it's not just me. <laughs> okay, how did it generate it? How did it generate a map that didn't take us through the mid boss? How did this happen? There's no bin boss. What? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Uh, rude. Oh gosh, where could it be? Norm normally it's always on the path to get to the... Uh, oh, oh, big damage. That was rude. Um, yeah, it's time for a potion. What are we gonna do? Didn't generate mid boss where it normally would. We need to find it. Uh. That was only our first potion though, so that's quite good for this area. I can't go that way because it doesn't go. Uh. Okay. Okay, let me take a look at the map again. It might be off to the right, which would be interesting. This is the second time I've had like a issue with the way the game generated the like map. rock uh working in mental health and adhd are the only things i need to wreck my anime watching uh, oh what how did that not even connect oh, yeah that's a big mood too like last week i got like basically got nothing done because i it was like a bunch of mental health days oh oh wow Ugh, rude. Um, randomizes your stat next run. That's that's a problem for future me. I don't. <sighs> Fuck. There. Hmm. Okay, we've went in a big circle. On the plus side, we're getting a lot of souls out of this. On the not so great side, um... Ah, shit. <laughs> well, what? I'm getting really angry if it actually just generated the boss like right next to the end. I really should probably go back and take a look at that. But...
It's like, where did it put this boss? of part of this. Yeah, I'm doing a okay. Doing a okay. I wish this boss would show up. There's a chest down there. That could be something. Uh, we need a narrow platform. Uh, it has to be narrow. It's too wide. This. Mm -mm. can make this work. It's honestly probably dangerous to be moving the pieces like this, but I think this might be the only way to get down to where I want to be. There we go. Except it's too wide going the other direction. But <laughs> Okay, fine. Does it like, can we just go down this way? But Start Dragon's Dogma tonight. It's a cool game. Oh, very good. I hear it's I hear it's quite good, but yeah. There we go. I hear it's quite good, but I've never really had like the oomph to just like pick it up and play it. There is no fucking blocks that fit down here. What do they want from me? I want the chest. You didn't just generate an impossible chest, did you? Who would do such a thing? Evil. Evil. It's Skyrim if Skyrim wasn't bad. Oh, well, there you go. That's a, probably a good recommendation. People like Skyrim, so that's probably a good sign. Yeah. It's really cool. You can grab people. Nice. In with the suplexes. Okay. If the boss generated where I think it did, I think it may have generated like all the way on the other side of the map. This is like the fucking worst. Like. Don't. Who? Why? We have to get this maybe through here. No, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, it's too too wild. Okay. There. Yeah, I can't get it through that way, anyways. Okay. <laughs> Backtracking literally the whole the whole game. Um. Okay. Hmm. I guess I just chose the wrong path. Silly me. I like to describe Dragon's Dogma as Capcom's take on Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody's recommended to me. They're like, you love Monster Hunter. It's like Monster Hunter. I'm like, there's the look at the mid boss there. Look at this asshole. He's sitting here the whole time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoa. Okay, that almost got us killed. Holy shit. There. Woo! That was spicy. It was very close. Well, it turns out we're gonna use all of our potions, I guess. Yeah. One of my favorite RPGs, Dragon's Dog. Uh. Uh. Alright. I said hello. <laughs> why is. Why? <laughs> Why is this like, gosh, gosh darn. Mm. 
Okay, it's not that big of a walk back, but it's, it feels kind of shitty. Yeah. Hmm. I have one revive, so that's at least kind of good. How are you supposed to get through there? That's so... Like, it didn't generate any platforms that could fit through there. I love this strip of this community. You guys, those make me feel welcome. Thank you. Aw. Yeah, no problem, Rock. Uh. Oh. Oh, it's always good having you. There we go. And up and around. When you're not stopping to like charge slash every single enemy, you know, you can really clip along. Sometimes I gotta stop and charge slash every enemy because it's for it's for knowledge. It's for power. Okay, so we made it to the end. So we got two keys. What are we going to have next? Um, it's one of the bosses. Okay, we're going to the sanctuary. There we go. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Um, okay. Uh, pass effect. Add two points of intelligence. No. Can't make me. Okay, we got our potions. Best potions. I'm going to say three, maybe. Maybe four. Do four. We get eight potions back on the next floor. Um, okay, we should be able to unlock the last two weapons. Well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> should be able to unlock some weapons. That's that's what we're gonna probably do. Okay, we got the crown of the dethroned, and now, oh, this thing looks so cool. Oh my God, missiles! Fully charged attack releases missiles in all directions, cost mana. Oh hell yeah, that's where it's at. Let's get this one, and then we'll get. Uh, def we'll get Defender of the Cosmos, and then we're gonna get the Missile Sword. Yeah. Missile Sword! Missile Sword! This is the last weapon to unlock, so that's another achievement done. Yeah. Nice. All weapons unlocked. Are any of them leveled up? Level 2, not good enough. Level 2, also not good enough. Uh... Also, still level two. Also level two. I can't reach the other one because it's for some reason too close to the character and kind of dethroned. Armor. Well, oh. Defender of the Cosmos. Also level two. Strength scaled though, which is pretty good. Um. At this point, we have no no use for knowledge, so I guess we might as well just take this. Let's see how it swings. Ooh, that's pretty fancy. Oh, oh, fire. Yeah, I should be really careful of that. Can it hurt me? Can the fire hurt me? It cannot. It's fire that only hurts my enemies. I love it. Are you buzzing at me? Uh, trailer's a good summary. Very good. I saw it. I didn't have a chance to read it, though, admittedly. Uh, um, okay, so we got, our, we got a big sword and we got a, a small circle. We got a circle. Um, okay, so we're going into the next area, which is... Sent to the chapel. Go to the chapel and then we drop down from here into the next boss fight, I think. That's how it works. So we fight a boss here, and then we fight something else. Yeah, okay, so we're fighting the boss here. Actually, what are we scale on? What are we scaling on? Uh, strength. Let's, we'll try this weapon. Hopefully it'll take this boss right quick. Oh, okay, it's this one. Okay, that's, that's good.
a little spicy. Uh. Oh, hands off. Uh. Oh. Okay, it's super annoying that these guys are throwing like fucking bombs at us, but whatever. Okay, that was it. That was easy. Easy. GG's. Um, we'll grab all this. Um, diving helmet. Provides a very good protection, but slightly obscures you slightly. That sounds better than what we had. Uh, dexterity ring, which... I don't know what I want to trade with. Hidden enemy right after dodge, 30%. Um, this is all fine, I guess. Uh, we didn't level up. Swords seem pretty okay. What is actually what was our damage scale? 18 versus 18. So it's uh, almost exactly the same. Um I don't know if I can leave this area and then drop down the pit or not. It was sent to the glutton's pit. Because we have three keys. Yeah, Matron living their best life. Someone rolled up <laughs> rolls up and beats the shit of you. GG easy. <laughs> yeah. Hey Fonda Dix, how you doing? If we go up here, technically, I think we can heal. We can talk to soap, like potions. There we go. We'll invest some more potions. We're going to invest probably four. four. Four seems reasonable. That still gives us nine potions to beat the next boss, which is excessive, actually. Yeah, you're awake. Gotcha. You going to go to bed, White? All right, you go get some rest, OK? Yeah. So at this point, now we go down into the glutton's pit. Actually, which swings faster? One. Two. One, two. Three. It's probably comparable to ships passing in the night. <laughs> yeah, really? All right, so we're going to the glutton's pit. This is just straight up a boss fight, so this one shouldn't oh, fist bump on the way. <laughs> Bye. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go here. This boss just like doing no damage. Excellent. We might be able to do a sick charge shot though if I play my cards right. Oh, rude. Oh my god. Ah! Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, right. This fire doesn't hurt me. It's just Feels very unnerving though. Okay, well, that's dangerous. Okay. Everything just went up in flames. Uh. Oh my god, this one, this boss does not stay still. It'd be nice if it stayed still for longer than like one hit. <laughs> Okay, well, we got a couple of hits in there. We'll heal up. So, oh, oh, whoa, that's a weird place for the fire ring. Oh, God. Boy, did it spawn this on like a small platform. This is normally on like a big open space. Okay. Done. Ah, lots of souls. I get Coward's Fork. It's a level 3 weapon. It's got no strength scaling, so it's Garbo. So that's the fourth boss done. We have one left. Ooh. How do I get out of here? There we go. Ah. Okay, that's boss number four back to the sanctuary. We only spent like one potion there, so that's not so bad. Going down this way. Talk to Soap again. We have 16 potions, which is super excessive at this point. This should technically be the last time, but I'm going to just invest three potions anyways, because I don't know if it's like if there's like a final final boss or final area that we don't normally get to access. Intelligence ring, that's a big pass. Um, Ascent to the Sanctum. I think this is the correct route to go. 
So I think we just go back and now we're going to the Sanctum, which should be either just a boss or I don't I don't 100 know. I don't know if there's a full stage for this one. Wow, just smash it. here uh oh, hello uh terrible strength scaling once again <laughs> this sucks this sucks a lot um it's at least good magic on the other things pretty okay magic on both um oh. actually i i don't have any points to level up shoot okay i was supposed to say i should be able to level up Okay. Oh yeah, right, this lights the things on fire. It's fine, it's fine, it's actually okay. Ooh. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is, this is very much burning me. Ah! Okay, yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm a fan of this sword. I really should have swapped it. Okay, is this a boss? This is absolutely a boss. Okay, boss time. Let's do it. Oh, weird. Whoa! Holy shit, I've never seen it do that before. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay, he can pull the things in and out. Oh god. This is not going well. Oh my god. Ooh. Holy shit, I've never seen this boss like act like this before. Normally it's not a hard fight. Oh. Okay, it must be probably because I have more keys maybe or something like that. Or maybe we're just gonna take a bunch of damage for no good reason. There we go. You know what? Fuck it. We're using this. Just tactical roll. Oh, this is much better. Keep swinging, you're missing. Yeah, see, this boss normally is like that, <laughs> so it's like okay. I guess it's five keys where we've, we've become one with the abyss. Uh, like I said, I don't know if we get to heal before all this or what, but uh, okay, Chins of the Sanctuary, we have the five keys unlock. All right, two, three, four, five. So we're going to the true ending now. I'll have to see what we're fighting, what we're dealing with. Hey, it's Soap. Well, hello there, buddy. Have you maybe gotten lost? I understand, you see, but we cannot abandon our duty. Not now, not ever. Say, why don't, oh, do you want to return with Soap? No. Oh, okay, time to fight Soap. Soap doesn't seem to have too much going on. That's good. <laughs> Soap is really struggling to hit us. Once again, like you get the bosses in the corner in this game, they really struggle, so. That's it. We get the true ending. <laughs> you, how can you do this? No one wants at stake. Go on then, escape. And see you after, he he he. GG, that was it. He, that means he got to keep my three goddamn potions. That's it. That's the game. True ending. <laughs> we did it. We 100%ed we 100 it Loot River. <laughs> what a difficult game. Yeah, no. It, it really... <laughs> like, damn. Final boss gets stuck in the corner. Unfortunate. It's 100%. Yeah. So, like, here's the funny thing about it. Like 90% of the difficulty in Loot River is actually just learning how to find the route to the true ending. Which is, was that, 
really the ending yes uh, you get the achievement retirement because you've you've uh completed the extra ending to the game uh, i feel bad for thinking good now you don't have to put up with that game anymore <laughs> Like, it was okay. It was an okay game. Like, it's a small, smaller, like, size game. It's a-okay, but, like, you can kind of see what I mean. Like, the, sh the end game structure ends up being that there's two stages and then, like, three boss fights back to back. Uh, it's a game that outstayed its welcome. It was a short game, and it did kind of outstay its welcome, just slightly. You're not wrong. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's that's our run. That's victory time, 20 minutes. Yeah. Like it's it's just not like I don't know what really to say about it other than just that like it's no more lewd river. Yeah, we're done. Um, I don't know really really what to say about it other than that like it's okay, but it's like there's I feel like there's just a better game to be made with a lot of the mechanics that are in this. I hear when uh um like, yeah. Uh, envious, I'll admit. All of us wish to see the outside world. Mm. Welcome back, Neil Say. We've been all eagerly uh, waiting you eagerly. You and I attempted to f uh, fulfill our duty once or twice. Let me tell you. But what do you think you would change? Um, I would zoom in the camera way more because, like I said, um, the camera being like this, like far out i know it helps with like the platform navigation but it's also just like it kind of makes the whole experience kind of feel a little bit like you know for lack of a better word like distant like it makes it feel a little bit detached it's hard to get really like into it i guess um it's a short game that required repeated plays and it was also poorly paced during each run <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Admittedly, that run should have been way faster, but I ended up getting the experience sword right out of the gate, which was gonna... I used that to get the final weapons unlocked, so... Like, so, here's the thing. This game does two interesting things. I'll... You know what? I'll give it credit where credit's due. Just two interesting things. The moving platform thing, which is obvious and really cool. I also like the modifier system, where you're actually collecting these modifiers that change the structure of the game. So like you can change like the stages, the sequence that you're doing them in and finding the true ending is actually more about finding what sequence of modifiers you need like all in place to reach the true ending, which rather it's rather unlocking those and getting them and setting them in the right place to reach the true ending more so than actually doing it because doing it wasn't actually that hard. Admittedly, though, I did get the last the last boss or the second last boss almost gave me a run for my money, but then also got stuck in the corner, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the fire provocation. I think that's cool. Yeah, no, there's like lots of cool ideas in here. And I think like a lot of it's like executed like well. It's just that overall, like the most everything else about the game is just kind of okay. Welcome again. As waiting your return impatiently. We were not quite as successful without you, but now you're back. Uh, we can be begin anew. Yes, would you like to rest a little, perhaps? You know what? I think speedrunning for this game might be kind of cool. What does that even mean? Run for your money? Like... I'm trying to think of what the context was I set it in. <laughs> uh, it was a super long second zone that tend to be... Yeah, the second zone was, like, really, really long. So, like I said, it ends up being a game that's, like, three stages long. The first stage is really quick. You can actually beat it in under three minutes. Um, because there's an achievement for doing that and you actually get a bonus reward for doing it extra fast. Um, first stage can be beaten in three minutes. There's a boss on that. The second stage is super long and has a mid boss that's hidden halfway through it. But like after that, then it's just three boss fights back to well, four boss fights back to back. So it's like. You, like the game just kind of lacks a little bit of like meat that said like because of the rooting because of the like the modifier system of select like building the route that i'm gonna take um there is like three other stages in the game but you just don't have to do them for the true ending because i'm modifying the route that i'm taking through well the modifiers um so i'm only having to do what's necessary which is basically do only do stages that have boss fights um that's what I meant about bad pacing. The second zone, yeah, oh yeah, it definitely got on my nerves a couple times. You're not wrong, because it was like way too long. Uh, 
you know, and like just hanging tight with it and being patient with it. That's really all I needed to do. <laughs> anyway, so hey, look at that. That is another finished game. Actually, I don't know if I count that as finished. I think I did. So that's another 100% though. Wait. Like I said, Loot River, really good Game Pass game. Like, like just kind of a nice diversion, something different to play on Game Pass, but I wouldn't necessarily shell out like full price on it. Just, I, I don't know, just like, it didn't feel like full enough to me in that like sense. Um, also, also I guess another thing is, is like, like I said, the game is mostly like, okay. But I do think like the majority of weapons in the game kind of suck. And it's actually very like, random if you're gonna actually even get good weapons in a run. Um, let me see, I'm just like looking, see if I have Loot River marked down. I don't have it marked down, so it is 100%, so I did not count that as a clear, because, so that means we've beaten 38 games this year, and we've 100% 17. Yeah. Uh, Oh, the second boss gave me a run for my money, which is that I was going to bail because I wanted to protect my money. I think that's what that means. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. My god. Uh, you did the baby Xeno. Yes. Yes. Very good. My child. Yeah. But hey, Loot River's all done. It's... We can remove that from the lineup. It's done. <laughs> um, it is... We've been eight hours in, it is 8 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna actually just quickly like um, give my mom the controller because she might want it for, um, she might want it for Elden Ring. And I'll be back in just a moment. So uh, I'll BRB because I think I might end up playing a little bit of something else. Yeah, I'll BRB. Uh.